following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I am going to do a performance evaluation and sea trial on a brand new boat from Galleon, the 400 Fly. This is a boat that's an easy step up from a smaller boat, and it's a great owner-operated boat. We'll start our inspection at the lower helm, and it begins with a soft touch dash with hand stitching. There's a compass just forward, not in line with the wheel. Room for two 12-inch displays. There's space to both sides that I'd like to see populated with maybe vents for the air conditioning and heating, and you could probably put a uh, inductive charger for your phone on there as well. Electrical switches, autopilot, and the Volvo Penta 7-inch display right alongside. Steering wheel is mounted to a fixed base. Ignitions, trim tabs, and then your digital throttle and shift. The helm seat is a double wide at 44 inches. There are armrests to both sides and it slides back and forth down below. Stainless steel footrest. Just inside the salon to the port hand side, the ship's main electrical panel. And just alongside in this cabinet, the generator controls. The engine room is accessed from a hatch in the aft deck. Let's take a look. Obviously the main focal point being the Volvo Penta D6 440 horsepower diesels. Looking around the engine room, we'll start over on the right-hand side, all the way back. I can see the cord reel for the shore power. There's a 12 kW generator. All the way forward, dual fuel tanks. The fuel filters are attached directly to the fuel tanks. I'd like to see a sight tube in the center so we can get a quick glance of the fuel levels. Coming around to the port-hand side, house batteries and engine start batteries. Looking all the way back, there's a fixed firefighting system, and I've got easy access to the steering gear. As we make our way to the bow, there are boarding gates to both sides. One of six 10-inch cleats going around the boat, and that brings us to the ground tackle. There's self-draining storage to one side and then access to the chain locker to the other side. Quick windlass is handling the ground tackle. There's a cleat for securing the anchor in the up position and a guide for bringing the chain through. Now to the side are the foot control switches and a remote control spotlight. The flying bridge helm is port side mounted. At the top of the console is a compass that is in line with the steering wheel. Below is a 12 inch display, the Raymarine Autopilot, and then the Volvo Penta 7 inch display. The engine controls are all the way over to the left hand side with the trim tab controls just behind. To the right of the wheel is the side power bow thruster. To improve our bridge clearance, we can lower the bimini top and this whole antenna array is collapsible. The Galleon 400 Fly has a length overall of 41 feet, a beam of 13 feet 1 inch, and a draft of 3 feet 9 inches. With the twin Volvo Penta 435 horsepower D6 diesels run up to 3800 RPM, our speed topped out at 29.3 knots. Best cruise was reached at 3200 RPM and 23.6 knots. It was at that speed that the 31 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 0.8 nautical miles per gallon and a range of 180.9 nautical miles all while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 264 gallon total fuel capacity. We reached planing speed in 6.2 seconds and she'll remain on plane right on down to 9.4 knots. We accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 8.8 .8 seconds and 30 came and went in 16.9. 400 Fly is a fun boat to drive. She's comfortable and I like the ergonomics behind the helm. She's also comfortable when maneuvering around. One other thing to be aware of that not so much of a problem but be aware of it is that this lower helm, big blind spot right over here on the right hand side and that's of course the danger side. Anybody on that side is going to have the right of way over someone on that side. So you've got that blind spot. Make sure you have a swivel head. Keep looking back and forth and with the, way the door open it's even easier because then you can just look out the door. Now for my favorite features. First off, the rudder stops. If the rudder becomes disconnected somehow, those rudder stops will keep it from swinging around and into the propellers, lessening the damage that could be done. Secondly, this opening side door, this gives me easy access to the midship cleat so I can tie the boat up single or short-handed when I'm coming into the dock. Now, probably my biggest disappointment during this test was that we didn't have any significant winds to really test the handling capabilities of this boat out in. Galleons have an excellent reputation for handling rough seas, and all you have to do is look at one of my previous tests to validate that. I should also mention that this boat is also available with a hardtop version, and that's the 410 HTC, no flying bridge. So there are options available. 
And that's my full sea trial and performance evaluation of the 400 fly from Galleon. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.